Thanks for watching, and welcome to Wrestling Review Society. What's going on, guys? I'm Kevin from Wrestling Review Society here with a brand new belt review video for you guys today. And this one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to have a belt review video on my brand new 10 pounds of gold, and then we're going to compare it to my old 10 pounds of gold, boot versus licensed copy, and all that other good stuff. So just before we get into that, guys, huge shout out to our sponsors, The Coldest Water, First Warrior, and A-Rock Designs. All of those links and the respective promo codes will be in the description of this video. So if you need to get your hands on any water bottles, uh, their new coffee line, t-shirts, anything that they have, coldestwater.com, promo code wrestling in the description, firstwear.com, a patriotic clothing company, promo code WRS uh, in the uh, description. And then as you guys know, AROC Designs, my wife's custom business. Also our merch store, storefrontier.com slash wrestling review society. That'll be in there as well. So if you want to get any of our t-shirts, hoodies, sweatpants, baby onesies, face masks, can koozies, whatever you need, make sure you go to storefrontier.com slash wrestling review society and uh, score you some merch today. Like I said, all those links and promo codes in the description of this video. <clears throat> but with that being said, let's go and get right on into the belt review because like I said, with the review and the comparison, this might be a little bit of a longer video and I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. So let's go and start with the belt review on the brand new 10 pounds of gold. And uh, guys, I absolutely love this belt. You guys have heard me say it a million times. This is my absolute favorite championship, period. Um, <clears throat> there are some that come close, but this one for sentimental reasons is my absolute favorite. Um, so let's go and take a look at it. <clears throat> First thing you're gonna notice, there is absolutely no tooling in this strap, none whatsoever. There's no tooling in the snap box. There's no clamshell, nothing. Just a plain black leather strap. Once again, you guys have heard me say this many, many times, less is more. Now there are some, do I think there's anything wrong um, with clamshell tooling? Absolutely not. Is there anything wrong with uh, tooling in the snap box? No, I absolutely love it. Um, but with this title, less is more. No tooling, no stones, no nothing absurd, nothing crazy, and one of the oldest championships in history. Um, <clears throat> but with that being said, guys, like I said, no tooling at all. Um, the next thing you're going to notice is the le the laced leather. We're going to get into that in just a second. But coming right into the belt review, you have your one, two, three, four, five, six by two male snaps. Then you come right over here into these grommets. I absolutely love these. Like, I just love the way they make the belt look. Um, it's, I can't describe it. It's just that old school, classy look. Um, there's, just, there's just nothing really that, that describes it, but I absolutely love them. Um, we have the Australian and Canadian flag right here leading into the main plate. And then you come right here into the main plate. And you guys have heard me talk about contrast. There it is. Black paint, uh, dual plated with the, the silver globe, the gold main plate. You have the American flag front and center as she should be. Yes, guys, I am a very patriotic person. My son's middle name is America. So I love the fact that the American flag is front and center. Another thing, and we're going to get into this with the... Um, with a comparison, take a look at these grapplers. Now keep that in mind when we come into the comparison video because that's going to be a hot topic for me. Um, and just two, two stones, that's all. Right here up in the black banner, two stones. No more, no less. Equals out the belt. Uh, evens out the main plate. Nothing wrong with it. Absolutely, absolutely love it. The, the uh, letters at the top, very legible, very crisp, um, world's heavyweight champion. I mean, you could see that from a foot away. You can see that from a mile away. I mean, I don't think anybody can really see from a mile away. But if you could, you'd be able to read it. So coming back, coming over into the other side, you have the Mexican and Japan flag. Once again, you have the grommets separating the plates. And then coming into your female snaps, you have one, two, three, four, five, six by two female snaps. So you have six by two on both sides, okay? Coming into the back, everything is nice and secured. 
no big ugly sticker, no patch. And then that lace job, guys. This is one of the main reasons I wanted to get this title replaced is to have that authentic, accurate, laced leather. This is my first championship I have that has laced leather. Um, and looking at it, this is not going to be the last. Um, like I said, this was a major, major, major reason why I wanted to upgrade uh, to this version of the NWA 10 pounds of gold. So I know I kind of rushed the belt review video or the belt review on this uh, because I really want to get into the comparison video and show you why this one is so much better. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the leather. Super floppy leather. Just lays right over. You can hold it like Ric Flair used to hold it. You can hold it like Nick Aldis currently holds it. And the leather doesn't bend. It's not going to crack. It's going to form right to the shape you want it. Absolutely love that leather. Four millimeter zinc plates. You do have the 3D globe. Mm. Love this belt. Absolutely love it. So let's go ahead and start comparing the two. Um, so you've already taken a look at this. Okay. One thing you're going to notice is that on this one, the plates are a lot bigger. Uh, you have the laced leather, the strap is wider. And those are a lot of reasons why I wanted to go to an upgrade. First of all, shit leather. Absolute shit leather. I mean, not, not the worst, like, stock leather you can get, but compared to that, it's dog shit. The plates are so much smaller. The strap is skinnier. It's not laced. Now, another reason why I really wanted to upgrade this is, let's take a look at these plates. This belt is less than three years old. See all those brown spots on the plate? It is literally on every single plate. Now I've got this belt from A&J's Belts. Uh, the patch on the back says it was made by Premier Replica Belts uh, Incorporated. These plates are not good. They're not. Was it? Was, were they good when I first got it? Yes. Was I happy about it? Yes. Do I still like this belt? Yes. But those plating issues, I mean, this one's by far the worst plate. Those plating issues are absolutely horrible. Just absolutely. I don't wear my belts. I hardly ever touch my belts. I don't smoke in the house. I don't smoke at all. Um, there's no reason these plates should be doing that. None at all. I've got belts older than this one. And the plates do not look like that. They just don't. Um, so another thing I wanted to, like I said, the grapplers, look at that set of grapplers on this plate, very nice and detailed. I know it's kind of hard with the light bouncing off of it, but this, it just looks like Braille. Like it's just, it's just a bunch of dots. That's all it is. Here, you can see the boots, you can see the faces, you can see the arms, you can see the anatomy of the two wrestlers. Um, now, there is another version where they actually do 3D grapplers, and I love that one. Um, I would much prefer that one, but I didn't pay for that one. I paid for this one. Um, but those grapplers, compared to those grapplers. This leather, compared to this leather. The wide strap versus the skinny strap. And the plates just look cleaner. The plates are bigger, they're cleaner, they're nicer. I cannot speak highly enough about this belt. And sitting here holding them, this one's getting extremely heavy. This one, not so much. Now the plates on the Premier Belt Ink one, they're not hollow plates, they're solid. Um, but the ones on the boot version just look so much cleaner. Um, sitting down looking at it, there, there's no there's no way to even compare the two. This one is clearly, clearly better. Um, and I'm going to work in some uh, after shots and, and a B-roll and stuff like that so you guys can get a more up-close and in-depth look 
But one of the questions I've got ever since I started posting pictures of this was, Kevin, you already have a NWA championship. Why did you get another one? Well, now you guys can see why I got the other one. I wanted that accurate. Uh, I wanted as close to accurate as possible. Now, TV accuracy really isn't a big deal for me, uh, but I really wanted this belt to be as accurate as possible. Um, this is one of the ones where I really wanted that accuracy. Sitting here holding it, you can clearly see a massive size difference between the two. And moving forward, I would just, I think this one's going to last a lot longer than this one did. I just, I'm a, I'm a much bigger fan of this one. I know I'm stopping and I'm pausing a lot, but like I said, guys, this is my absolute favorite title. Uh, this is my Holy Grail belt. It is this one and the Rated R Spinner. Those two, if I, if I didn't have any other belts in my collection, I just had these two, my life is complete. Um, so I'm really just taken away at how well this turned out. There is one part uh, that kind of loses me a little bit with this one compared to this one. So we're going to look at the Aussie flag. We're going to look at the Australian flag really quick. Notice the stars in that one. You can clearly tell they're stars. This one, the paint kind of gets a little loose and they just look like dots. So that's one area where this one is better than this one. Uh, but it's a very small, uh, very minuscule area. But if you come over to the Mexican flag, on this one, compared to this one, the eagle in the middle of the Mexican flag is very noticeable, very pristine, very clean. This one just kind of looks like a dot. So they both have their shortcomings when it comes to the details in the flags. <clears throat> Oh, this one has the newer, uh, the accurate Canadian flag. Um, so guys, with that being said, I've kind of talked as much as I can <clears throat> trying to juggle two titles. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the close-up photos. I'll do the comparison photos and, and, and show you the differences between the two and let you guys decide which one you like better. But this one is the, uh, this one's the Holy Grail belt. The new one is... I, I could not ask for that belt to turn out any better. I did wait uh, quite a while for it, but um, at the end of the day, I was given a really, really nice belt. So now that the wait's over and I'm looking at it, the belt's amazing and uh, very, very happy with it. Absolutely thrilled to have it in my collection. Love that belt, love that belt, love that belt. So with that being said, guys, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, photos and all that other good stuff that I do at the end of the video so you guys can get a really good look at the comparison between the two. With that being said, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel wherever you found this video at. I know I posted in a lot of different areas, um, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, follow us on our Facebook page, Wrestling Review Society on Facebook, Wrestling Review Society 1 on Instagram in twitch.tv slash heel kevin um on our twitch channel that's where we do a lot of our live streams we live stream each and every night that there's wrestling on and it's just a fun place to be and watch wrestling with a bunch of wrestling fans and talk and kick around your ideas and stuff like that because let's face it guys wrestling's kind of getting hard to watch on some nights <clears throat> monday um but with that being said guys twitch.tv slash heel kevin wrestling review society on facebook wrestling review society one on Instagram and Wrestling Review Society right here on YouTube. So go ahead and hit that subscribe, thumbs up, and the bell to stay notified. Make sure you check out all of our sponsors, like I said, listed in the description of this video. And um, we're going to go ahead and do some still shots and uh, all that good stuff. So uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to play the B-roll for you guys. And we'll see you at the next one.